on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Sonny does everything he can to protect an informant in the first episode of Season 4, titled Contempt of Court. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode aired, from September 21st to September 27th, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, just after week two of the NFL season, the NFL Players Association declared a player's strike that would ultimately last 24 days. Although it wasn't the first NFLPA strike, nor would it be the last, since it took place in the middle of the season, NFL owners elected to bring in replacement players and counted the games as regular season games. As you would expect, attendance and TV viewership took a considerable drop and the owners, players, and the NFL reached an agreement after just three games. In music, moving into the top spot in the Hot 100 is Didn't We Almost Have It All, the second single from the Whitney Houston self-titled album, Whitney. The song will spend two weeks at number one and ultimately spent 17 weeks in the Hot 100. Didn't We Almost Have It was Whitney Houston's fifth number one and was nominated for Song of the Year. In movies, winning the box office this week and holding the top spot for eight weeks is the thriller Fatal Attraction. Directed by Adrian Lin and starring the megastars Michael Douglas and Glenn Close, the film is about a married man who has an affair with a woman who becomes obsessed and refuses to end the relationship. film received much critical acclaim and is a massive hit. Nominated for six Academy Awards and was even discussed in academic circles for Close's performance as Alex. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.